Welcome back to the vlog. I'm coming to the UK tomorrow. I've been to London once, but I was staying like around uh, the it's Wembley. Although a lot of you guys were shitting on Birmingham in the comments, saying, whoa, feel bad for you. Oh, that sucks. So I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I think I'll be able to have a good time. Update on the cut. Uh, I fired my nutritionist. Let me just be straightforward here. I like to just be given the information and carry on. But whenever you're working on a program like that, they obviously want you to continue working with them, so they're not gonna just give all of the information at once. I think that's why I'm just gonna have to like go to school or something if I really wanna just get the raw information. Figure-wise, I don't, I don't really know that I would say I look different. Um, I'm definitely retaining a lot of water right now because it's my time of the month. Later at night, I get a little bit hungry, but I can handle it. It's not that bad. It's just more of like a habit thing. So, yeah, all right. Today we're hitting chest. And then we have some special activities later after this, so stay tuned. triple D's. It's a shame. My genetics, they just they did me dirty. You guys have seen my mother. She could probably bench like seven plates with those things. Sorry, Mom. Actually, you're welcome. <laughs> when in doubt, get the two and a half pounders. That was it. I did all of them. Actually, I did more because on my last set I was supposed to do five with a heavier weight, but I did eight or seven. So. Stay in the cut on the north side. Hella points, trigger fingers on my fucking throat. Demons rising out the crib, I snow me a fat line, never gave a fuck. Grew up by the mud, pull up, then I pop the trunk. Grew up with the fucking robbers, always get the mask on. Motherfuckers gon' die if we keep the mask off. Suicide when I ride, bitch, get go to walk the shadow. So, Weston, I heard a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't decide which one to <laughs> Apparently, Weston wears slippers in the shower. <laughs> shower shoes, he calls them. Yo, when I'm sleepy, hollow, that mystic motherfucker that's addicted to prescriptions. Xanax for the panic, mental problems, you get at that. Multi million own business, you just signed a deal, right? Three years past, still broken, you ain't paid up. Dollars I ain't touched yet, burning for the fuck of it. If I mess, lunatic, you. You just suck it, cut the wood to death, wish race with the savage slip straight out the death pit to keep Oh, I can't wait to be right, look it up right now. Cocoa and cacao, two different things. I disagree. Look, you disagree. <laughs> <laughs> this guy thinks he knows what he's talking about. Oh, I'm gonna prove him so wrong. And he goes to college and gets good scores, so imagine that. Being able to whip this one out of my ass. <laughs> I think, I think they are the same thing. Cocoa is created after the beans are finally ground into a powder and roasted. Roasting it changes the genetic makeup of them. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's like putting a chicken in the oven and being like, oh, it's not a chicken anymore. It's a baked chicken. Exactly. But You're it's still changing. A 
No. Uh, glass. Wait. Uh, something makes diamonds. Pressure makes diamonds. Oh, it's not a diamond until you add some pressure to it. Yeah, fuck you. It changes the science makeup. Mm. I'm right. My chest is definitely one of my weaker muscle groups. <laughs> Don't sleep on them. 2.5. It's better than nothing. What can I say? I'm not an ego lifter. My rice is already done, the chicken is cooking. My chicken is wet, boy, <laughs> look at that. I almost wore my pink uh, creels, cro croc heels, but then I didn't. Um, from the last vlog, if you guys remember those, I'll wear them one day. It just, it didn't match perfectly with this, but yeah, I'm wearing all pink. Also, did you bring gum? Because I smell like garlic. Yeah, I smell like garlic. <laughs> so now we are at Zila Fitness. Ilya invited me here. He invited me here to do like a body fat percentage. I guess this is like the perfect time. It's like the beginning of my cut, so this will be like a good starting point. And my other gym, Equinox, also has like an in-body test, so I can update later. So let's go inside, I guess. I'm scared. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about this? Of course. So it's pretty quick, it's about two and a half minutes. Okay. Uh, we'll take you back and forth and use the gym like a beam, mm -hmm. and we'll so your body composition, so your fat, your muscle, everything. Um, yeah. Protector for the... So we can't. What? We, we can't have that because it's scanned your whole body. Oh, so my ovaries are going to die. No, it's such a light radiation that, um, if you eat four bananas a day, you get the same amount of radiation. Really? Yeah. yeah okay. So it's very minimal. And then that on your back, your head's going to be right there. Looking curvy in my skeleton, boy. Look at that hourglass. <laughs> I look big. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. Tell me about it. So your total fat percentage is about twenty-one point five. Okay. Uh, is that like average, low, high? It's actually really good from what I've been seeing today. That's actually really, really good. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, the fat mass, that's how much fat you have in your whole body. It's about mm -hmm. 32.9. Mm -hmm. This is your muscle plus your bones. It's about 129. How you break all that down? I'm on a cut right now from bodybuilding, so I'm like... Nice. That's really good. Yeah. I just started, though, so this is great. Good. Thank awesome. you. Very fun. Of course. Hey, thanks. Right, no Guys, look at my figure. I'm not going to get over it. We're in a fancy elevator. I'm gonna show you guys how Faith Order likes to get down. Oh, my ears popped. I'm gonna show you guys how I party hard and stuff. We're going to a helicopter. Everybody's here. It's a party just for me. There's nobody else here. It's lit. Ooh, smells good. It's like essential oils or something. Smells like cologne. Yeah, I'm like, where? Where is it? Anyways, so we're going to a helicopter. 
helicopter pad. This dress is hard and stairs. You can't really get a good stretch going. But anyways, my friend Nate, who you guys may recognize from the vlogs, is DJing. And he invited me to this. Don't know what to expect. He invited me very last minute. So he doesn't care about me. But um, he invited me nonetheless. So I guess we'll see. Me and whenever I say we're gonna party hard, but then I wanna go home. No, no, I can get down. I think Nate is DJing right now. The beginning of his set was shit. He fucked up on the mic and it hurt my ears. What's up, guys? My name's Johnny. I'm here at Nate's helicopter pad random DJ set. I don't really know what's going on. Fate's in all pink. I'm in all black. Pink. Black, pink. Big K pop group. What does that mean? I don't know. You guys figure it out. It I gotta piss so bad. I'm gonna go do that. Fate, take it over. Okay. Welcome back. They thought I wouldn't make it to the red carpet. Every time I've ever done like a Getty Images shoot, they've always looked like trash. Like I genuinely, I suck at taking photos, but this is my super moment. Faith, Faith, over here, over here. Okay. Over here. <laughs> oh, there's so many people. There's... I feel super famous. Now you can see how much of a party animal I am. <laughs> I won't tell you how long we were there, but... Well, the sun didn't even set. <laughs> the sun was setting while we got there, and it's still up. <laughs> but, um, you know, I still like to step out. I like to say hello to my friends. Now I'm going to go home and uh, cook dinner. Because I'm on my cut. I'm on my schedule. And I'm a chef now. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> Hold it up, keep it up. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyways. Um, <laughs> it stinks in here. It's me. I'm kidding, it does. It kind of smells like tires. Um, I bought like six different chef cooking books at Barnes & Noble like yesterday. So... Yep, that's me. I just, I, I get passionate about like five different things at the same time, and that's just what it is. But guess what? I will be very well versed whenever I'm 30. I'm gonna know everything. I'm gonna be a genius. Oh, and also, I don't know where that just came from, but um, whenever I was walking down the street, some random man approached me and. Hello. Hello. And he was like saying something about. I have this restaurant, this taco restaurant that just opened. Follow my Instagram. Uh, and then something about like Leonardo DiCaprio being there. I think he was capping. <laughs> I think he was lying. <laughs> but what if, what if he wasn't? But at the same time, like, I'm not 21 anymore and I heard that Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't like his women over 21. <laughs> so he would probably be like, ooh, too old. I'm 22. My birthday's coming up, guys. So, yep. Anyways, um, hmm. This is either the beginning of the vlog or the end. So if this is the end, thank you for watching. See you next week. Love you.